this is a trick for everyone, only if you're really close with your hairstylist. Okay. Lah. Because I've been with mine for almost 15 years, I think. <gasps> Since five years old. <laughs> Aww! You're gonna get a good Christmas gift this year. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm Yen. Hello, I'm Fiona. In this last episode of 2019, we're going to talk about our travel beauty essentials. Yes, and if you're traveling, this is the episode for you. <laughs> Remember to hit yes. subscribe and on the L bell button. <laughs> we are rusty, so let's get into this episode. Yes, let's get going. <laughs> Welcome to the machine. As you can see, um, today is a little bit different. Yes. We have our traveling beauty, you know, essentials or toiletries back in front of us. Mm. So end of year, we are traveling. Yes. Yes. And where are you going to? Um, well, make a guess. <laughs> so before you look at my bag, look at my outfit. Our and... outfit kind of like tells us where we are going to to mm -hmm. the um, end of the year. Okay, before I guess yours, mm -hmm. I think quite a giveaway. But nonetheless, I will do the guess. You can guess mine. I'm in pink. Which is typically not my colour, but um, yeah, it's a pretty pink. I've got a new haircut too. Are you going to Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not okay, heading okay. to Disneyland because okay. I'm not layered. Right, so let's right. try again. Uh, Where do you think I'm going? Somewhere tropical. Yeah, yeah, we're just about three hours away from this tropical like island. Three hours? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah no. three hours from where we are. So where do you think I'm going? Uh... Chiang Mai. <laughs> yes, I'm heading to Chiang Mai and then Bangkok. So, hashtag shout out to my THP runners out there. Um, to my running group. <laughs> <laughs> Do a shameless plug, okay? Sure, sure. Yeah, so anyway, me and my running mates from the High Panthers were heading to uh, Chiang Mai to see our adopted charity, which mm. is a hope for the family. We'll be spending Christmas there uh, with the girls from the home. So, I'm looking forward. So, yes, this is where I'm heading in pink. Okay. Um, so, where are you home? Where are you going? I'm, I'm just looking at this. <laughs> okay, no, don't tell me. Yeah, I, you know, it's like, before we even started filming, he's like, oh my god, I'm so hot, I'm so hot, I'm so hot. So, uh, yeah, fan, okay? Clearly, we're not in the country that he's going. Okay, yeah. But let me just do a very quick description, okay? When I first saw his outfit today, the first thing I thought, oh my god, I love this jacket. He's like, thank oh, by the way, Levi's. Oh, shout out to Levi's. Yeah, thank you, Levi's, for end of year present. Oh, and I really love the Star Wars jacket. Yeah, it's so nice, Star Wars. And the next thing when he said, oh, it's actually for ladies, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm so <laughs> boring this. Is it for so, ladies? <laughs> so this jacket is unisex. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to mm. so borrow this the next time when I go to where he's going. Yep. The that is so layered and the new hair and the you know whole get up yep. I'm thinking you're going to the land of kimchi Yay! there we go I'm going to so yeah. so before we proceed mm. I just <laughs> <laughs> you cannot take this anymore. It's like way too hot. Yeah. Blah, blah, so we kind of like trying to dress accordingly to where we are going. Yeah. So clearly, if you if you can really tell from now mm -hmm. uh, till we start till now, he's going to a very very, very cold. freezing country. I think for now, so yeah. is like. Negative two to three. Wow. By the time I'm there, end of the year, um, they say it could go as low as negative seven. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm on the other side of the spectrum. Uh, they mentioned that it's still going to be cold by Chiang Mai. Uh, well, in Chiang Mai as well as Bangkok. Uh, but I suppose in the day, I'll still be looking at about 20 plus, the high 20s. And then maybe at night, you'll go to the, the high, like... Yeah, I don't know, 15, um, mm. thereabouts. Okay. Yeah, so um, I have a bit of a challenge. So for me, it will be layering that I'll be doing well for fashion bit. But other than that, uh, we're going to talk about what we are bringing. Um, for cold weather and for a humid climate. Yes, yes, that's right. Is this your toiletry pouch? It's a huge pouch. Um. Yeah, it's my toiletry tote bag. Okay, so you have all this, you have the whole bag in your luggage. Yes, okay, and let okay. me just say this. When we thought about doing this, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, you know, the whole episode about travel essentials and the first thing I said, yep. you do know that this girl here do not travel light, light. right? <laughs> yeah, so I have a theory that you travel light when you're gone from this earth. <laughs> so other than that, you know, you kind of bring whatever you need, whatever okay. you think you need and apparently I need a whole lot. Yeah? Mm. What about yours? Mine is, mine is actually a sandwich bag turned into a toiletry pouch. Okay. No, it's kind of like a Sustainable living. Yeah, it's kind of a utility pouch so inside kind of like a camo design. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's waterproof. I think it is a toiletry pouch like, because it's really so waterproof that mm. anything doesn't leak out from oh, here. okay. So I bought this from Japan and I find this extremely useful when I travel. So, you know, sometimes the countertop may be a mess. Oh. So what I do, I would just fold it like this and I'll just use it and just stick it from Okay, yeah, so, so so now that you've opened yours, I realize mm. that these products are like 
inside. Yep. I'm just gonna open mine. Okay. It's actually more pouches inside. <laughs> So I have uh, pouches within pouches. Yeah, so it's uh, pouches within totes. Okay. So, um, shall we begin then, just yes. to see what's in our bag? And since yours is like, uh, how should how should we? Okay, let's start yeah. with our day essentials okay. then. Okay. Because I I know I'm traveling to a really cold country. Um, I think the day, uh, the usual sunblock is a must. Mm. Um, day cream and stuff like that. So maybe yeah, I'll take out my day stuff. Wow, your first one is really very powerful, very big, yeah. huh? Uh, oh, of a size, huh? This is definitely a day ah. stuff for me as well. Ah, okay. You are bringing a full size lotion. Uh, yes, okay. yes. Um, okay. Only when I go to a very cold place. Okay. So sense. maybe I'll start with some of the things that um, I feel that is going to help me in this negative zero climate. Mm. Um, I think in Singapore, both of us we use um, what's that brand? Senka cleanser, yes. the one that foams really well. Mm. Uh, I realize that for me in cold country, that doesn't help because I will get cracks around my nose. Oh, um, okay. yeah, around my lips because right. it's so okay. It's not drying. Okay. it's just squeaky clean. Yeah, okay. Maybe strips too much of your 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 oil, your mm. natural oil. So yeah. recently, I discovered this Bybe gel based cleanser. Mm. So this is a kind of like a foaming gel cleanser, which doesn't strip off your natural oil. Okay. What I love about this, okay, actually for the longest time in Singapore, I avoid joy, uh, gel cleanser. Oh, it smells so nice. Yeah, I like mm. the, uh, the scent as yeah. well. I avoid gel cleanser for the fact is that I love things that, you know, after washing, you get mm. a squeaky clean mm. uh, sensation. <laughs> um, gel base basically doesn't have that sensation. Yeah. But it actually works very well for oily skin because, because it doesn't like over dry your skin. Yes. So in compensate, your skin actually secretes more oil. Cool. Yeah, so I think this cleanser, after trying a few rounds, I actually like it because um, definitely your face is not tight after washing. And I feel that in Korea or in anywhere that's really cold, if you go with that foam high foam cleanser that mm. is super drying, okay, drying is the wrong word once again. It's kind of like, it really makes your face feel really mm. tight. I'm just worried, you know, with such a weather, I'll secret even more oil. Mm. So um, this is one thing that I will bring with me, which is a joy, a joy, <laughs> gel-based cleanser. Okay. A joy based yeah. cleanser. So, do you have like a cleansing item? Um, mm, no, lah. So, you'll still stick to your usual cleansing item? Yeah, basically. Okay, okay. Yeah, Fair now that you mentioned it, I forgot to bring, right? I should mm. actually. Will you be using the can uh, Senka one? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, for me, actually, Mm, it doesn't matter whether it's a cold country or whether it's a humid country, I use the same one. Okay. What, what's important for me is the makeup removal. So it's, mm. it's just going to be an oil-based one. And okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, the next thing is that um, this brand, I love it. I love, love, love it. I think we have both been using it for a mm. while. It's actually Haku. Haku is actually mm. under Shiseido Group. Yes. And, but this range or this brand in particular is only available in Japan. Um, mm. In Taiwan as well. Uh, actually, Taiwan Watson, they do sell it. I think oh. I remember I saw it. Yeah. So this is actually a whitening range. Slightly more affordable than your white lucent Shiseido. Uh, but what I love about this Haku lotion is that the lotion itself is actually slightly on the um, right, um, thick and viscous oh. side. Yeah. So I will use it in a day. So it kind of like locks in the moisture really well. It's actually a whitening range. But I love it because it's thicker than your regular toner. It smells really mm. nice. So this is what I will be using in a day. Of course, I'll use a regular vitamin C serum in a day. But the only thing that I will change will really be the sunscreen. The sunscreen I've been using are actually gel-based as well, just to keep the face really light, not to secrete too much oil. Yeah, yeah. But this around I'm going to use Super Goop. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of heavy duty for me because it's quite oily. I personally find it quite oily for oily skin. So I realized that if I were to bring it to a cold country, probably it will be able to balance out that sort of... Um, oil level mm. yeah so this is this my is SPF what 50 mm, okay. so don't think that if you're in a cold country you won't get sunburn I went to ski in Japan before I got yeah. sunburn I mean because we're pretty much up in the mountain top uh, last but not least I think this is something which I've learned over the years uh, when I was studying overseas when country is really cold right you know realize that we always wear long sleeve pants and everything yes. so the things that we are kind of like hard it uh, Areas that it's pretty hard to kind of cover will be your wrist, mm. unless you're wearing gloves, which I totally don't uh, wear gloves as mm. well. Your ankle, 
Yeah. Uh, so normally you'll get cracked skin and stuff like that. So I'll bring a body moisturizer, not for the night, in fact, it's for the day. For the day, yeah. So I'll apply areas where my clothes can't cover. Okay. Even like ears, neck. Okay. You know, just to keep um the skin moisturized. And I discovered I didn't I mean I didn't discover this brand. I, I kind of like started using mm-hmm. this brand quite recently, Avino. And I kind of like it. It's really moisturizing, but it's not oily or sticky, mm. which I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. our favorite girl, Jennifer Aniston, right? Yeah, so you look like her after using. <laughs> So that is my day component uh, portion. What about yours? Okay, mine. Um, so for me, going on this trip, um, because it's a humid place, but yet at the same time, in at night it's gonna be cold. Uh, and as you can tell, if this is already like one portion of what I'm thinking, I need to be really um, efficient in terms of the products I'm bringing with me. Okay, so I'm going to begin with, first of all, <laughs> another pouch from the bag. Um, okay, so first thing first, uh, uh, I would say that I'm going to focus uh, areas that are slightly different from him because I have an additional component, clearly would be the makeup. makeup. So yeah. I'll be sharing some of my makeup stuff today and talking about how your uh, makeup can actually last throughout the day. And if mm. like me, you have the habit of going out really early in the day to explore the city and then you go back, rest a little bit, go out for dinner and then you go out and party, your makeup needs to last the whole day. Okay, so how do we go about doing it? So the day regime is really simple for me. When I travel, I don't bring a lot of things. Um, and I realized, where is my vitamin C? Okay, my, <laughs> serum. Yeah, my vitamin C serum is missing. Okay, <laughs> nonetheless, um, this is an essential. There we go. Like, and, and that's the reality of life, right? Yes, you yes, pack yes. things and then you forget. So you improvise. This is what mm. we're going to do. So um, I will always have this eye oil with me, which I've talked about in previous videos. So it's a Cora eye oil. Um, particularly whether it's a humid or is it cold country, right? Your area around the eye, I think, would be the first thing that would show. Yes. And if you are traveling and you are going to stay out late at night, you will need this. This is a lifesaver. It's going to help your concealer to stay on longer as well. Mm. And the fact that I forgot my Claire C vitamin, uh, vitamin C serum. Mm. So uh, I suppose I will use my Biosense one for the day. Okay. So this is vitamin C together with uh, squalene. So it's just this. Um, so this for the morning, uh, maybe one drop and then two drops for the night. And that's it, because it's oil-based, so it's, uh, it should be really sufficient for the day. So that essentially would be my day care. And there is one more. After I put this, there is something that's really important. Mm. Sunblock. Love this sunblock. Yeah, so I've been using this brand for a while. I think yourself as well. Yeah. Uh, one thing I love about this is, uh, is that um, it's one of those sunblock that wouldn't change the way your makeup performs yes uh your foundation performs and it basically yeah lasts the whole day it's really light and powerful yeah so no no complaints is 50 plus so i got this during a sale recently so this is great so that's pretty much my day but of course you look at me and you're like really is this like (laughs) that's it no of course not so this is just the base right to get this gorgeous face (laughs) going so after that you need clearly Mm. a very very good foundation this is my go-to at this point. Estee Lauder Double Wear, Stay In Place Makeup. I don't know what's the meaning of double wear, but in my opinion, double wear is morning, night, 24 hours, stays. <laughs> That's all you need. But who puts on makeup 24 hours? You never know when you're traveling. So this is a good one. Um, yeah, I've done other videos about going to the gym with this, yoga with this, so I won't talk to- so much about this. Um, all you need is a good beauty bl- blender, shear it out, it would work. Of course, if you're traveling, right? You'll be partying? Of well, course. <laughs> me too. Exploring the city, the nightlife, some good DJs, music, mm, yes, you know? Yes. So you will need concealer. Because yeah. the next day you wake up, you're like, girl, what up, right? So I have two uh, recently. This is a hydrating one for my under okay. eye. Okay. So this is from Tarte. Isn't there a different concealer for yes. face? Are you serious? Yes. Okay. So this is an education for you, my friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, this is a Tarte concealer, which is, um, I think it's called Rainforest of the Sea. So it actually has got hydrating purposes. Uh, it's a lot lighter um, uh, in that sense. It's more fluid, not like your usual concealer that has um, thicker consistency. It's a lot, a lot lighter. So it's great for the under eye. So when you use this to prep your eye, you top this on, last the whole day. That's all you need. So foundation. And then, um, because I'm going to a tropical place, 
I, well, I shouldn't blame that I'm going to a tropical place uh, and he's going to nag at me, uh, which is, it's like, it's time to get the laser going and um, <laughs> I haven't really had time to, yeah. So for now, I am surviving on Fenty Beauty. So I use this one for spot concealing for some of the, you know, little friends that I have here. Uh, just dot a few and then beauty blender it and then that's it. So that's essentially it. Now, your next question is, how are we going to make all these things stay? Which I totally yep. forgot, right? <laughs> it's before you put on your foundation, please have a good primer. I've talked about this before. It's the ordinary primer. It's really simple to use. Just put it on. Everything stays from morning to night. This is only seven bucks. Mm, yeah, okay. so forget about everything else. I've tried everything else. This, for me, works the best. Okay, so after you top everything on, Ta-da! I have a full size here. <laughs> he lives in like bringing travel size. Uh, so go big or go home. I have my trusted L'Oreal Mercier loose powder. And then that's it. That it's essentially... Your day. My base. And I'm not even done yet, but you should proceed with yours. Or would you want to... No, continue, continue with your day. Oh, okay. Continue with continue your day. Continue with my day. Your very long day. <laughs> my very long day, right? Um, okay, so I, 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 I think... When I was packing this and I was just thinking about what we're going to do today, right? Uh -huh. And, um, you know, we watch a lot of videos out there that talks about makeup in five minutes. Yep. I totally, Don't totally salute. It. No, no, no. Oh. I believe in that. I believe in that. But I salute the ladies um, who can do makeup in five minutes. I okay. mean, I can too. But um, I want to be very grateful that um, I, I have that 45 minutes of luxury on a daily basis to just paint my face because that's therapy for me. Okay. okay? So everyone <clears> has their own poison. So this is my therapy. Next, I'm going to show you. My when I saw this pouch, I was quite amazed. Like, uh. oh, it's so compact. Mm. Da -da, then suddenly, da -da, she got all the brushes ready. Yes, I've got brushes. Do a little bit dirty. <laughs> yeah, well, it shows that it's real. It's, it's like I'm using it, right? And I still have like two other brushes wow. over here okay. that I have. Okay, so that's the base makeup, right? So typically, what happens after the base makeup is that I'll move on to my eyebrow. So basically, it's, it's painting my face, right? So yep. how I do my eyebrow is, first and foremost, um, shout out to Bernice. Um, yeah, you know, she... Well, Your this, brow this, technician. Yeah, my, my brow technician. It's not, a, it's, it's not sponsored, by the way. So I pay for my own brow stuff. Um, but she, she did a fantastic job in getting the shape out. And it's so natural that actually, no one actually realizes that it's, it's, it's actually done. Mm. Um, but she always nags at me, like, why do you even bother to, to, to draw or whatever? But like I said, it's therapy. So I have this from the face shop. It's actually quite a simple, you know, it's like a, yeah. Like, oh, this is from face shop. Yeah, this is from face shop. Does it's it, only this like, kind of a brush. Yeah. So oh my gosh, I should have bought that. this instead of the Chanel boy. <laughs> Chanel was $70 and it's about $7. See? <laughs> I'm sorry. And I was the one who said, bye, bye, the Chanel package is so pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you always need a friend like that. So anyway, yeah, face shop, seven bucks. And then after I just fill in uh, some details, I will brush out the hair. Uh, and then after that, you need hairspray for hair. So you need hairspray for brows. So I have this from Colourpop, mm. which is actually a tinted um, sort of brow gel uh, just to comb the hair up. So it looks a little bit more natural, like nothing is like too drawn. So that's the brow. So that's done. Mm. And then after that, it would be the eye. You know, this beautiful set of eyes over here. <laughs> it just happened like when I wake up. So... <laughs> Anastasia, okay, sorry, it's also very dirty. It goes to show that it's very, very used. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is one of the palette. Um, so if I open up, please do not get the shock. Everything here, it's real. Lah. So it's not like I just open up from the bot uh, from the packaging and that's it. Um, there are fallouts, clearly. Oh my God, it's like, can you see? Uh, so real. So real. So you bring the whole palette with yes, you. Yes, but you know why I bring the whole palette? Because this palette can bring you from day to night. True, true. Yeah, true. so there are clearly a few colours that I always use. This colour has already hit pen. And the heat pen colour is not even like the basic colour that I use. It's actually the one with a lot of glitter. <laughs> you know, glitter from day to night. It's like, yeah, a must. So um, you can actually use this whole palette from a day look to a night look, depending how you want to intensify it. So um, if I may do it right now. So if I were to intensify the look that I have, I may go with the purple. Uh, okay, why do I... Okay, wait on. There we go. Okay, this is another little thing. So you just kind of intensify the back. 
Right. Yeah, so this is a dark purple glitter. So is this the only palette you'll bring with you? Or you'll bring a couple of palettes? I have a couple. I mean like just one more, but it's for different purpose. I'll move on. Oh my god, this video is going to be a million years long. Okay, okay what's the other palette for then? Okay, the other palette. Okay, so this is the eye. The other palette that... <laughs> okay. This is from Tarte. It's also very used, huh? so please do not get a shock, all right? Oh my god, it's so used that I don't... Is this for contouring? No, this is not for contouring. So the one that has hit pen over here is this particular like brown colour here. Uh -huh. So this is the one that I have a little trick for everyone. Hey, this is this 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 video is all over the place, no? But then I'll just be very organic. You ask me and I'll just do... I had this whole sequence in mind. Like, you're horrible, no? So this one, I have this other brush, okay, with me here. I will dip into this one over here. The very, very dark brown one. And what I do is, and trust me, uh, this is a trick for all of you out there. <laughs> you do not think that it's only for girls who have very fine hair. Oh, you hey. think your K-pop like superstars, their hair are all like on point all the time. This is why they're on point, okay? This is what you do. So, you know, because I have this like lovely little bang here. So sometimes when you take photo, like you have this space here, right? Because of the hair fall. So what you do is you use the dark color to fill in like some spots that you have, mm. right? Actually, for guys, like, I think it works Yeah, as even well. at the yeah. side over here, and then you just blend it out so the, the head looks fuller, right? Can you see I just pop here and then it's like yeah. the hairline kind of... Correct. Yeah, okay, maybe you can't yeah. see from screen, but I'm sure you can see from here. So this is why I bring this palette with me so that in all your Instagram photo and videos, your hair is always on point. So the next up is I'll do the rest of my face. So cheeks is oh, another blusher. area. Okay. So um, I do not just blush. I actually uh, have a bronzer and a contour. Okay. As well as do a Do you really brush. bring all this yeah, for Yeah, and, and they're so small. They're not okay, huge. Okay. okay, so this is from Laura Mercier. This is actually a um, eyeshadow, which I actually use it to create um, like a, a, a creased, uh, like crease, yeah, a crease look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will use this and... Bronze up my face. So okay. it warms up my face because um, strangely, when I got this color, I was perfect then. And then somehow I got darker. Oh, okay. I was, yeah, so now this is a bit too white. So bronzing just to warm up the face. So I can still use this. Okay. And then of course you need a jawline that cuts, right? So if you want a jawline that cuts, this is a darker color. So you shape that face. Okay. And ta-da. So after... Can you see that? <laughs> Can you see how it cuts you in two right now? Okay. Okay, so that's it. Okay, I won't go into details. That's it. And then after that, <laughs> it's like, oh my god, is she like going on forever? You edit lah accordingly, okay? okay? <laughs> Blusher from NARS. Nice. It's called Orgasm. This is like, I don't know. Oh, the, this is a nice color though. It is. Yeah. It's, it's um, pink, but it also has a bit of a gold shimmer. So it, it, you can skip the highlighting if you want. But obviously, okay. I have the highlighter with me or so. So just top it. That's it. So this is the first pouch. Mm. Are you ready for my second pouch? Oh, your lip colours. Yeah, so these are all my lip colours and it comes in one pouch. Okay. Now, when I travel, I believe that it's important to, when I say this, I feel funny lah, to look at your wardrobe and um, and if like my wardrobe, you only have one thing, uh, then we don't think so much. The rest are all like black <laughs> and all. <laughs> but, so what changes if your wardrobe are in the typical basic colours? Mm. Your lips, <clears throat> lip color. So I will always have three main categories for the lips. First up, lip balm. Mm. Okay, so this is from Supergoop SPF 30, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, it's not the dry type, so not too sticky or so, so it really helps to moisturize the lips. That's one. Uh, two, have at least two different uh, fam shades, family shades, shades uh, mm -hmm. with you. Uh, of course, I'm extra, lah, so I have three. I recommend two, but I take three. Okay. <laughs> So I will always have a red for that extra pop, pop yeah. of colour. So this is from Amani Beauty. So this is the red that I have. Oh my god, the table is so messy. And then I will always take a pink with me because someday you want that pop of colour but you want to look like you were born yesterday. <laughs> so there we go. This is from Fenty Beauty. This pink is... Mm. Oh, this colour is nice. Right? It's like suddenly... It has a blue undertone, by the way. So I, I feel it has a blue undertone because it makes my teeth um, actually a lot whiter. So I like this one. Mm. And then... You also need a make uh, a lipstick for day, right? Because you don't want to walk out of your... I mean, you can. Because I've done that many times. In like this or like this. But for those of us who are playing a little safe... So have some nudes oh, with you. Oh, that's a nice colour. Yeah, so this is from Colourpop. Um, so I have nudes. 
Um, this is from Chanel. I love this nude pink one. And um, I also have this one. So you will not streamline your lip pouch? N no. You just bring the whole pouch? Yeah, I'll just bring the whole pouch. Oh, right. oh right. yes. And when you come back and you remove everything, right? Don't forget. You always have a mask with you. Mm. Yeah, so this is my like... Um, Go-to mask. Uh, at the moment, I quite like this. This is a 3D mask. Um, okay. It's actually whitening and um, for hydration as well. I love this. And and, mm. and ladies out there, or, or gentlemen as well, please remember when you're traveling, right, you have to bring your mask and mask every single night. If you can't do it in Singapore and your, your reasoning is like, oh, you know, I have no time. You're traveling. Make time for yourself. Okay, lie there with a mask. I don't know, do whatever else. Drink coffee. And then that's it. Yeah, so that's... That's okay. Me. Yeah. Yay. Sorry, it took forever. <laughs> but yeah, for this gorgeous face, you know, mm, these are the things that require. Yeah. I agree that we totally should have a mask mm -hmm. um, when we travel. Yes. Um, so this time around, I kind of like prepped myself uh, with this pink mask. Oh my god. Yeah, I love this pink. Okay, so I kind of like um, saw this brand. Actually, this brand has been around for so long. Mm. But actually, I, I don't want to try it. <laughs> because. <laughs> I don't want to say this because there are so many Taiwanese masks right out mm. there and a lot of them are cheap, affordable, great. It's just that this particular Taiwanese brand, Dr. Wu, mm. is always very pricey. Ah, okay. So I, I was like, if I could pay for this amount, I think per sheet, I remember it's around sing $5. Are you serious? Yeah, it's not those Taiwanese brands, it's one per sheet. It's almost $5 per sheet. Oh, so I saw expensive. this, yeah, I bought it in Taiwan okay. because uh, it was on sale for 30% mm. and I had sunburn. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and I have to say, this vitamin D, okay, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah, so it has other range as well. So I'm going to bring this together with the hydration mask. Uh, they have a C, vitamin C, which is for brightening. It's great as well. I really love this range. I'm trying to buy this in Singapore, but I couldn't find. I don't know where I can get it. But okay. um, yeah, this is something that I would bring along with me. So this is for night as well. Okay. I <clears throat> Actually, when I'm traveling, I always have this habit like before we go out for dinner mm. or for night activities, clubbing mm. or whatever, we always mm. like, okay, let's go back to the hotel oh, and refresh ourselves yes. for the night. So that's where... Well, the night routine will be slightly different. Um, night, probably I will not put on any, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, sunblock. Mm. Uh, then I'll put on a little bit more moisturizing stuff. So a few things I wanted to recommend. I think first of all, is really, I'll still bring my hyaluronic acid uh, serum from The Ordinary. Okay. Once again, it's cheap and good. Yeah. So I'm, it's really, really something that is very basic when it comes to mm -hmm. hydration. Can I try this yep. one? Um, the other thing is also Haku. It's actually a gel-based moisturizer. Probably I'll use it at night when I go out just to keep my face a lot more moisturized. I love Haku. I have to say, if you're in Japan, please give it a go. I think the product is amazing. The quality is great. And the results is really good. The last thing, right, it's actually a recommendation from a friend. Um, it's actually called... Hato Gumi Skin Conditioner. Actually, oh. this product, right, has been kind of like the most uh, top seller, one of the top sellers yeah. in a lot of pharmaceutical branches. Um, you know, all those, what they call as Yao Zhuang Dian in Japan okay, and okay. In, um, in Taiwan as well. Yeah. So technically, this is just um, kind of what they call as a quite seed extract. It's actually something like barley. Mm -hmm. So it's for whitening. So I have a friend who actually recommended me this product. So what happened is that he has eczema. Mm. So he has really dry skin. Mm. So he has to constantly keep his skin really, really yeah. moisturized. Yeah. So what it does is that he does the seven layer approach. Wow. The Koreans. Wow. But he's not Korean lah. He's Singaporean. So he, he kind of like, he does the seven layer of okay. um, layer of toning. So he says that after seven layers, right, the skin is extremely moisturized. Okay. And the other thing is that for eczema, right, they cannot just randomly pick any moisturizer and yes. use because right. of their condition. Mm -hmm. They're extremely mm -hmm. sensitive to chemicals mm -hmm. and any irritants. Yeah. So this thing is great because there's no artificial coloring. There's no additional um, scent. Uh, and it's completely kind of like uh, very, very ideal for sensitive skin mm -hmm. so I've tried this before I couple I uh, kind of like put on a few layers and I can tell you the skin is extremely moisturized mm. if you're lazy like me once again uh, you can go for the there's this version a gel based yes. version like a I have that one mm, that is amazing yeah. as well it's super yeah. moisturizing so yeah. I would definitely bring this along with me I use the gel based one for the body actually yeah that's amazing yeah. that's yeah. really really great uh, and you did talk about lip and I can tell you every time when I travel right <laughs> what is one damn thing right which I keep buying every day is lip gloss I 
I always buy a new lip gloss, throw it in a hotel room, and I always kind of like lost lip it gloss somewhere. Lip gloss or lip balm, which one? It's like both lah, just okay, to okay, keep okay, your, okay. your lip hydrated. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just that for this year, right, I started only buying lip balm or lip gloss with colour. For a simple reason is that it really gives that additional shine. Mm, yes. And you know the thing about guys, right? I don't know, a lot of us, we just think that, mm, it's just, <laughs> it's just a lip gloss. It's just to moisturise, but... When you actually buy something with colour, you look a lot more healthier. Yes, yes, mm. I, agree. I agree. The other brand I want to recommend is a brand I love to death. It's called Eve Loam. Mm, um, actually, I discovered the brand. yeah, I discovered the um the balm cleanser when I was mm. studying. I, I got a really bad outbreak, and the balm cleanser kind of like saved my oh, skin. Wow. They have this particular product called Kiss Bakes. It's actually a lip balm. Sorry, it's actually a lip colour. You'll be wondering, oh, oh my god, wow. how it's for ladies. But I can tell you, this one a little goes a long way. Super hydrating, okay. super moisturized. Just a little bit for guys, it gives you the color, extremely wow. healthy looking lips. And yeah, I really love this product. I think for the ladies, if you have this one, you can even pop it on your cheeks mm. and it becomes your cheek color. Mm. Yeah, so actually it'll be really I nice. I do that as yeah. <laughs> So sometimes, Very little I'll, secret. I'll, I'll dab a little bit around my cheek. Yeah, yeah just for that healthy glow yeah mm. so for the ladies right um if you've just done your makeup for the whole day and you've gone out and if you're going to like humid places like bangkok so on and so forth and it's dusty and all when you get back to the hotel and you're resting and you're thinking you want to go out but you don't want to reset that whole process what do you do my suggestion is you head to um wherever your destination is and then you buy yourself a facial mist Mm. So I have one here. I won't review the brand because I, I, I actually got this as a, as a as a gift. So I don't really know. I, I never researched on this one, okay? Mm. But it's, it's a facial mist. So what I do is... Right? Just okay. to make your makeup stay? No. So what you do is after that, you take a beauty blender. In this case, I don't oh, have a beauty blender. Okay, okay. Can I get a tissue? tissue? So you can grab tissue as well. So what you do is... If you have a beauty blender, get the beauty blender and then you can start blending it in. Mm -hmm. It's a bit gross. Like, eh? what, it essentially do, uh, what it does is that with a facial mist, it helps to sort of dissolve um, your makeup a little bit so that you can reset it one more time. Mm. Because I don't use a setting spray. That's okay. something that I don't use because I, I don't believe in using setting spray. Right. If you do all this, it stays really like my opinion. Right. Yeah. So then after that, it freshens up and then you can retouch whatever you need. So oh my god, spray. you should totally buy a spray bottle and use this. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a great idea. This is a great product, really. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Love this product. What do you use for hair? Now that you mentioned about like hair. The only thing I'll bring is hair tonic. So I bring my PHS ah, hair tonic with me. Okay. Other than that, I wouldn't bring my conditioner and shampoo. Will you bring uh, conditioner and shampoo? I will, I will. Can so bring yeah, full bottle? No, 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 I won't bring full bottle. So this is a trick for everyone. Only if you're really close with your hairstylist. Okay. La. And because I've been with mine for almost 15 years, I think. <gasps> Since five years old. <laughs> Aww. You're gonna get a good Christmas gift this year. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I've been with her for a very long time. Uh, so each time when I visit her and if I know that I'm traveling, I'll ask her for like if she has sample mm, stuff so she can pass okay, well, me. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so I just bring like the sample stuff. There's sections of products. Yeah, so okay. um, one thing I will always oh. bring with me is, is uh, hair oil as well. Okay. So this is something to also moisturize your hair. And the reason why I bring hair oil on trip is because I can't bring my Dyson hair dryer with me. Mm. Will oh, you not bring your hair dryer? Last time when we went to Japan, you actually brought <laughs> a hair dryer. Can you? Can you not like I set up a stage so nicely to like okay I don't bring my hair dryer like the last no, time. No, last time we went to Tokyo together, right? So I was like in the morning, eh, where well, you get a hair dryer from? I uh, brought from Singapore. I was like, <laughs> and it's like a it's not even Dyson back then. Like, it was yeah, a yeah. huge hair dryer. And I was like, well, you actually lock the hair dryer all the way to Tokyo. Yes, I did. So I learned my lesson, right? Because I have so judgy friends like that. After that, I was like, okay. But I borrow from her. Like. There we go. So it's like, you know, I, I bring for everyone. But no. So lately, I don't bring. Because okay. uh, the reason why is heavy. because um, the last time we went to Tokyo, it was Airbnb. So yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure whether the Airbnb has the um, hair dryer that I really want. Mm. Uh, so the, every time I go to a hotel, I'll make sure and check in whether they have hair dryer and the hair dryer that I want. La. So I actually go and scrutinize all the pictures. Okay. Um, so I'll bring a hair oil. So just in case it's not a hair dryer that uh, helps to prevent overheating. So mm. this would help it as well and really tames the hair for the humidity. Okay. So that's uh, 
yeah, that's basically for me. That's okay. it, I think. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, was, I thought that it will, you will try to make it as light as possible. Uh, which one? As in my package? No, no, as in your hair. Oh, my hair. And not to apply hair oil. No, hair oil is It still, works for you. Yeah, it works okay, for me. Okay. Yeah, just a tiny little drop will do. You don't have to sort of overdo this. Just mm. a tiny little drop. Because with humidity, it will still freezes a little bit. It freezes. So, yeah, just a tiny little drop. And Kerastase okay. is always good. Yeah, so I use a lot of Kerastase products. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. so um, that's it for me. So heading to Seoul, I'm going to send you my shopping list for that one. Uh, I'm just <laughs> heading to Bangkok. So unless you want, I don't know, lemongrass oil, aromatherapy. <laughs> From boots, I don't know. Yeah, then you Even let the me know. the boots are also quite happening. Yeah, okay, I'll let you know. I'll take mm. video and then I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, but um, that's it from us to you yep. today. So this is an edition of um, Travel Essentials. Hopefully yes. you find this helpful. Um, if you have any comments or feedback, please let us know. Comment yes. below. And uh, if we don't see you uh, anytime soon, we'll see you in the new decade. So, 2020. Yes, I, I cannot wait. So Merry Christmas Merry and Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy and Holidays. Any feedback, you know, just leave a comment right below. Yeah, and if you drink, don't drive, okay? During this festive <laughs> season, alright? This message brought to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> alright, see you guys. Bye. Take care, bye.